Good evening guys, Piotr here, it's Light Finance Global YouTube channel and as usual it's my pleasure to be with you. We are going to discuss Bitcoin and Ether today uh, and we are going to try to check what kind of the perspective we have medium and short term. If you do remember our previous discussion that was our measurement of the possible head and shoulders with the very, very negative scenario for bulls. I'm talking about the possible negative scenario for bulls with the target around 16,000. All right, let's have a look what has changed since our last uh, visit on that particular chart. Let's remove the measurement. Let's have a look what do we have and how the market is behaving because looks like bulls are still alive, especially with the move we have this week where we are trying to take out the latest weakness we've seen four weeks ago. Okay? four weeks ago. So with that weekly chart, all right, what I would like to see, of course, is the weekly close above that zone, all right, above this uh, level. So we are talking about the levels close to uh, 43,000, uh, So if we are going to get the close uh, above, that's going to be quite significant development why? Because we might make completely new measure, right? In that case, that would be possible to hit 52 again, right? So let's discuss uh, for a second this uh, particular uh, scenario, right? Okay, so First thing first, we know that we have to close above uh, above that level, right? That's what we uh, discussed. Now, where is the problem? The problem is here, this particular supply, right? So uh, we might just make the failure. We might see, for example, upper shadow, but the close below, that would be very negative. Then the swing low, probably is going to be retested and if broken the lower levels to come so that's how the things looks like from the weekly chart perspective and uh, if we are going to get that close we might work with that particular supply because 52 top of that supply is the target uh, based on the measurement we did second uh, ago right so the 52 is very significant level why? Because if you are going to look for few things, lower shadow, uh, high before we make all time high, all right? And from here, we've seen the break to the downside. So that's 52 is significant. Move through 52 and weekly close above will open 60, 62 again, all right? On that weekly chart, close below close below 33,000 is gonna be negative again let's have a look what we have when it comes to the daily chart that's the daily chart and looks really really similar uh, to what we've seen on the weekly chart so that's what is important and where we are right now for a third day we are trying to hold above this zone as you can see here as you can see here lower shadows meaning that the demand is trying is trying to hold 42 and a half because on a daily chart that's the latest weakness that's the latest weakness and we are trying to hold above all right based on this and if we are going to make the opposite measure uh, similar to what we discussed a second ago, 52 is going to be the target as long as we are hold above, all right, on the daily chart. And to be honest with you, as of now, just looking at that chart right here, right now, 
um, it, it's looking quite bullish just the bottom of that is working as a, uh, some kind of the supply but the most important the weakness we've seen here being taken out i'm quite positive for now and finally let's have a look what we have on the intraday chart let's switch lower let's have a look what we have on the four hour chart on the bitcoin right and it's also bullish here as you can see this cascade this supply right been taken out lately all right on the four hour chart so we are good to go higher how high intraday can we go if we are going to hold uh, this um, 42 20 uh, 42 242 um, again the same measure to the upside right it's like 8000 so we are going to target 52 nothing uh, here different so weekly daily and intraday showing the possibility uh, of the attack of 52 as long as we are above 42 that's the thing when it comes to the bitcoin let's have a look what we have when it comes to the ether okay let's switch the weekly first boom shakalak let's go it looks a little bit different uh, so lately looks like ethereum is weaker why i'm saying that because on the weekly here we are testing supply we are below the weakness we are testing supply and we are building a little bit of the upper shadow what is needed for the bulls to gain more is a break and close on a weekly chart above 3400 in that case we are reopening 3700 then 4000 and the high uh, most recent high around 4700 all right but we have to take out this particular this particular uh, level okay as long as we are below lower levels made to come uh, first thing first is going to be retest of the swing low and then eventually 1750 that's how the things looks like on the weekly chart let's switch lower let's switch to daily and it's the same situation so as you can see if we are going to compare what we've seen on a bitcoin it's completely different here on the ether on a daily chart we are still below this weakness the good thing is the good thing is that we are trying for a fourth day to hold above 3000 check those lower shadows over here 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 and today at least for now right so the good thing is this break down candle right breakdown candle high been taken out and we are trying to hold this level it could be some kind of the over under in play here so a little bit more consolidation and then attack to higher levels uh, from the daily chart perspective 3600 3700 as a possible target in case of the downside break all right in case of the downside break we might retest the low uh, we might see even lower levels because if we are going to take into the consideration this consolidation over here right midpoint of that consolidation is below that low some some stop hand in case of the negative scenario could be in place here when it comes to the daily chart of the ether and finally let's have a look from the intraday perspective there you go no change as you can see we are fighting with that latest weakness the same we've seen on weekly daily we do have very similar on the four hour chart and we are fighting there are some rejections going on right there was an aggressive move to the downside and this rally uh, well it's not in a full throttle yet of course close above 3400 might easily change that view for now looks like bitcoin 
is a little bit stronger. With that being said, guys, please don't forget, do your own research, do your own homework uh, before trading real money. And well, wish you great next trading day. That's it from me today. All the best. Stay safe. Take care. See you around.